Y'all already know what it is, man. We are back in H-Town, Texas. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's a kid billionaire video. Shout out. Where we at? Where we living? Where we at? This is the Ben and Dentist Net 2911 South Sam Houston Park Bay East. Perfect. Not bad. Okay. So now we can jump straight into the tour because Miss Ann wants to spend $100,000 in here and we're gonna see how many zeros we could chop off of that. This is what, like 4,500 square feet? The whole building is 3,000 square feet. Oh, the entire building, okay. So Got Jasmine it. is gonna be working here as well. Okay. She's agreed. She doesn't wanna do daycare, so of course she's agreed to do this. Daycare ain't no money, right? <laughs> she doesn't like it. <laughs> so she's gonna be my assistant. Amazing, right. yeah. I mean, it's a new venue. There's gonna be a ton of things to do. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so this is what's supposed to be an office. I don't okay. know what to do with it. So, so basically everything is just kind of like compartmentalized, right? It's yeah. just so all they roll with the same pretty much. Different rooms for different things. This could be a breakout session or I was thinking maybe to make this into two halls. Okay. First, I thought maybe we could partition that and make this into a smaller space. And maybe you open that wall because we put it there. You put this wall here? Yeah, we did. We put this toilet in here. How many bathrooms do you have in the entire facility? It's almost on this side, each room has a bathroom. So there's a bathroom here as well. Okay. And a shower and all that stuff. So two bathrooms in the entire facility? No, 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 no. Oh, there's more, all right. So we have, we have men's here. So we have one, two, three. Got you. Men. Same thing for the women. Three, right here. Okay. So three, three, six, seven, eight. Eight total. Huh. Eight in terms of stalls. Mm -hmm. Stalls, eight stalls. Yeah. Eight toilets. Right, eight toilets, yeah, yeah. Four toilets, uh -huh. eight stalls. Yeah. So this is one, that's two, yeah. that's three, that's four. Got you, yeah. I'm all for partitioning and breaking it into two spaces, but here's the thing. It gets very, very tricky when you do it yourself. That's when like you definitely want to bring plans and stuff like that. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I've done it before, like off the record. First and foremost, like the emergency exits, like each property, like you have to have double the emergency exits. So like that would be the first concern. And then two obviously would be like the HVAC running through the entire property and things of that nature. So like like I did that for my space in the Bronx. It was 8,500 square feet. I split it. Like I literally built a wall. Like. Built a wall, made an entire hallway, had the bathrooms on the outside. Didn't really pay that much attention to the emergency exits, I'm not gonna lie to you, off the record. But it's tricky, very, very tricky. If it was me personally, I'd probably just keep it one. Like, it hurts me. Like, I believe me, like, I'm all for making more money, like, splitting it down and then making it two spaces, but you're gonna bring on some problems. Okay, maybe for now we can keep it like this and yeah. in the future because exit is not a problem. Because if you look, it's already built like that. Okay. It's built to accommodate that. If you look at this, that's an exit. And over there has its own exit. It has its own doors. We don't have exit. Gotcha. If you do it, I would, me personally, I would bring it. Cause I, I've done that myself before, yeah. and it like I ain't get in trouble, but like it's so risky. The plans, it's kind of flexible. Right, and then another thing okay. too is if you do split it, the soundproofing's got to be real that's tight. Yeah, that's like it's got to be real tight because you're literally all you have is four inches of sheetrock in between these two properties. So it has to be double sheetrock, right? More than double More than sheetrock. Sheet. You're gonna have to like insulate the hell out of that. If you don't soundproof it. You're gonna have to insulate the hell out those walls because, like, think about it. Like, you you literally have this much sheetrock between two yeah. rooms. Yeah. You think they can't hear the difference? Yeah. So now, if we have somebody wants to book a small event, what do we do? You book Just a small event. event. You... And then leave this. No, you book a small event. Over there. No, yeah. there's, I mean... They don't want all this space. They're just doing, like, maybe a baby shower. Why well, wouldn't they want all this space? Mostly they don't. Uh, I've never heard somebody not want more space. Yeah. Oh, okay. no, too much space is not an issue. Never. Okay. Not a sure. place is always. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are the experts that let you decide. Because I've never done this before, so I don't know. Yeah, just kind of add on to Terry on point. Like, yeah, like it's never, too much space is never going to be an issue. I mean, think about it. You, If you have a daycare in here, you're going to have, what, 30 kids? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's not going to, I mean, I don't know, you tell me. But, yeah. like, it's, it's not like it's going to be, I'm pretty sure this property is zoned for, like, 250 you're not gonna have 250 kids here at the same time, right? So like more space is never gonna be an issue. But for right now, I'm not gonna lie to you, for right now, I would keep it just one open space. Okay. Let, let's see how things run for like six months. Okay. If you really do wanna partition down and make it into two properties, I would consult okay. with an architect and just kind of see what their ideas are for like drawings and stuff like that. Because like I said, like I've done that for my Bronx property. I've split it into two locations, like filled up the wall, soundproof and things like that. Like it's a lot. If you don't do it right, like you could, Get into some trouble. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not a priority. That's what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. not a priority. I need you know to the feeling as well. Okay, I'll leave it. To go to pop my head. Yeah, no, nah, if you uh, you can give me the money if you want to spend it. No, no, no. I told her I don't she want did to spend it. The I'm going to come down here and pop her hand because yeah. that's unnecessary money. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Right now, paint the walls white. Call it's it. It's okay. It's, it's good. Nice when it's Paint the walls white. Call it a day. Oh, yeah, we will. That's period. Okay. That's it. Paint the walls white, call it a day. You don't got to touch it on the floors. You don't got to touch the molding. I told you. Everything else. I told you. And he just basically said everything that I told him. Yeah, yeah. Have you, you haven't seen this one. We had an issue with the septic. This was supposed to be classrooms. Okay. You know, so that's why you have different colors. Yeah. yeah. I just did for sure so that the guy could pass it. Yeah. Otherwise, so I'm going to take everything yeah. off. If I was to buy your business tomorrow, okay. right, this is what I would do. If I was to buy your business tomorrow, uh -huh. so first and foremost, we already spoke about the bill that we're painting the walls white and we're leaving it alone. Yes. Right? <laughs> Two, all my furniture would be movable. I wouldn't obsess over where things go. Okay. You disagree? No, I'm, oh. I'm agreeing. Oh, I'm agreeing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 I'm agreeing. I was like, Sorry. I would make all my furniture move, so like bars, food carts, whatever the case may be, tables, chairs, things like that. I would just have everything movable and I would literally let the client dictate where they want things to go because that's the advantage you have with a larger property. So how, how can I make it buy a movable? So I'd have to construct the bar. You don't, I mean, you can, or you can buy a movable bar. So you, you have the vendor see. list. Yeah, it's in your roadmap. It's in your roadmap. Okay. Shout out roadmap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so to his point, what I was saying, mm -mm, So buy, buy, like, so, but you guys tell me what I need to get. You just gave me a list, a vendor list. You didn't tell me, buy this and buy that. How much time you got? I have a lot of time. Beautiful, cool. You're gonna get a bar. You're gonna get two food carts that hold about four to five chafing dishes each. You're gonna get 10 round tables. You get about a hundred chairs. Okay. And call it a day and start there. And we'll figure out the rest after that. Okay, so hundred chairs, a moving bar. Food two food stations, stations yeah. Food stations. Okay, 10 okay. tables. And, and hundred chairs. chairs. Yeah. Chairs, I'll, I'll leave up to you. Okay. If you got big money, go to your bar. If you don't, get some regular. I'll get a nice one. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> in the roadmap, there's a whole section for tables and chairs, so you can just pick whichever one you want and order those type of things, all that good stuff. You can do some a fans or DJs for your six foot table. Literally. So six foot table. Yeah, the six that foot sit. rectangle table that's similar to this. All right. Oh, rectangle, not round. Yes. So we're gonna do rounds and rectangles. Both. Oh, You're gonna offer both. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna have ten rounds and then let's say about five to six rectangles. Okay. Right. And there is something I've seen again where you have a kind of a table that costs a serpentine that. table. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not. That's, that's, that's not like a starter. Piece. That's not a starter piece. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. That's, that's like yeah. You want like a that's like a banquet. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. So that's the phase two, right? right? So the things that we told you to get just now are like your starter pack venue inclusions. That's what the venue comes with, like right? A foundational. Piece. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, need that for every event. One hundred percent, right? And then you're gonna have your rental. So like definitely. So what I would get after that is like tablecloths. Mm -hmm. Napkins, yeah. charger plates, mm -hmm. things of that nature, just to cover the tablescape. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You can watch this video back if you forget anything and sure. stuff like that. Because somebody's not taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> so like phase one is getting those venue inclusion foundational things, right? Tables, bar, food stations, bar, chairs, things of that nature. Phase two would be the tablescape, napkins, napkin rings, charger plates. Well, that's like to set the table and whatnot so you can have your first rental package. Yep. Phase three is getting rental items. You're in Houston. There's a ton of vendors out here. Like, sure. lit we literally just left the venue. Like, she has beautiful furniture. Like, crazy. Shout out, Kim. Uh, shout out to Lux Venue. But, like, literally, it's so funny because her other venue is like 10 minutes away from you. Oh, for real? Yeah. Y'all yeah. are buddy buddies, real. <laughs> getting together real good. But yeah, phase three would be the rental items. So, like, your throne chairs, your sofas, your serpentine tables. Buy those now. Uh, you can, like, ease into it. Okay. You can ease into it. I would get like, you know, I would get the phase one and phase two stuff first. Okay. Yep. Make a little bit of money. Yep. Okay. Take that money. Like for the first like three to six months, like you're just reinvesting back into the business. Like you're putting it into ads, you're putting it into furniture. You know what I'm saying? Houston is one of those markets where like there are a lot of venues out there, but a lot of them suck. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very serious. A lot of them stop. 40% of venues go to business in the first year. So like the easiest way to differentiate yourself are rentals because a lot of them aren't offering that. A lot of them are not offering rentals. So it's just like, if you come on the block, one, you you're already winning on the advantage of space, For sure. period. You know what I'm saying? Two, it's just like, all right, cool. Like if I have all these rental items and stuff like that, you can do packages that nobody else can get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What about the props? Like the one you showed me? That's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's literally what. That's what props, furniture, yeah. stuff like that. That's gonna be phase two. Phase three. Phase three? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right now, like I said, So I don't, need, I don't need props? Not right now. Okay. Not right Not now. like super priority. Yeah, not, not right. right. So, not then right. What, so what am I going to market? The venue. 
Yeah, so there won't be fancy packages. So when I say phase one, phase two, phase three, I'm just I'm just adding a name to it. And sorry, I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm just adding a name to it in terms of like this is the prior. I'm just trying to make like it easy for you. The order of yeah of the things that you buy. Like I don't know how much your budget is right now, and I but I also don't want you to blow all your money before you see a return. That's just a real big thing because I've done that. You know what I'm saying? Well, first order of business really like if I was to buy your business tomorrow. Is just get this white clean the floors like call, like that should not cost anything more than like a thousand dollars like real talk. Not problem with me. They, they, they charge me a fortune to get things done. Clean the floors and the paint. Yeah, you say thousand dollars. That's like almost five thousand dollars. Five thousand. To do what? To paint this place. No way. I might have to go to. Remember you were telling me to go to Home Depot. I might and have to do that. Juan Julio. You know a guy on YouTube got mad at me for saying that. He's like, Hey Brian, I love your content, but don't refer to these people as Juan and Julios. I'm like, Bro, get off the internet. Like it's not that serious. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, nah, seriously, go to Home Depot, get like two, three guys, bring them over here, get them buy the five gallon of paint. Well, actually, you'll need way more than a five gallon of paint. You'll you'll need probably. I would say at least two. Start with two. I would get two. They have to prime for us because of the color. I mean, they have paint primer in one. They have paint primer in one. This is this is a one day knockout, easy. Like literally, go to Home Depot, <laughs> grab like two guys, get buy, buy the supplies. They bring in the little packs for like twelve dollars and stuff like that. Yeah. Get two five gallons of. I think it was Cameo White. You get Cameo. Uh, pure white. I use pure white. EPG. EPG. Yeah. Man, we bear boys over here. It's the brand. It's the brand. Oh, okay. I usually go to Chevron. You talking about like Chanel? I'm talking about like. Nah, I like Bear. Bear is solid. First order of business is that we're just, we're gonna go to Home Depot, we're gonna paint the walls white. It's not important. Just whatever you can remember. We're gonna paint the walls white. You're not gonna touch anything else but the walls and the floors. We're gonna clean that. Bathroom, we're gonna clean that. Like, you have space on your side. Like, that's just something that, that's an advantage that a lot of people don't have. So, like, I wouldn't go crazy right now, right? Second order of business is to get the furniture. We're gonna get a bar, we're gonna get two food stations, we're gonna get 10 tables, we're gonna get 100 chairs. 99% of this stuff can be found in your roadmap stage four build out, build out list, right? Everything's there. And of course, if you have your own vendors or anything like that, just use your own people. Sure. In terms of like, where do things go? I don't know what he thinks. Like, it, it really doesn't matter. Let people dictate where the stuff goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can drop the, if you wanna make, pick one room that's the biggest and make it like a food area, whatever the case may be, pick another area that's like a breakout room. Kim did actually a really nice breakout room, which is, which is was really, like she had a TV and everything like that. But like, let the people dictate how they kind of set things up because your mind is gonna be like, oh, this is what works for me. But other people are gonna determine what works for them and who's the paying customer there, them, right? Cool. Third order of business is tablescape. So we're gonna get like the round tablecloths, the rectangle tablecloths, charger plates, napkins, napkin rings, things of that nature, just so we can do a basic package, right? So when people come in, they can get more than just the venue centerpieces, things like that. Again, all in the roadmap. And then the final order of business would be, depending on how quickly you liquidate, getting funds in, or how much capital you have available, or whatever the case may be, we start getting actual furniture, like props, right? So that's like your serpentine table, your backdrops, your sofas, your throne chairs, your pedestals, things of that nature. When it comes to this, I always like to start with things that I can, that are like modular. For example, like the pastel walls, those you can paint any different color, the square pedestals, you can paint those any color. So those can be used for multiple events. They have a high ROI. So I would definitely start with those things. If you go on the vendor list and you see all the different vendors, there's like five in Houston. You'll be able to go on their Instagrams and see all the different items that they have. Anything that looks like it's painted, good money. So I'd get like one, one backdrop, which is like a pastel trio or something like that. One set of pedestals, uh, like JD, he did fantastic with this. So like we got him like a grass wall, we got him like a square pedestal and stuff like that. And then he was able to just like paint it in color. It goes with the packages, things of that nature. And then you're in business. And then at that point, it's just any money that you get, any liquidation goes into ads and goes into new inventory. And then things break obviously on the way up to success, but you know, you just, that's what we're here for. So next, once I get all that, so my next coaching is gonna be on the method of operation you know how, how those things come up as yeah those things come to be very honest all those things in your roadmap but like you're not going to know until you get there like that's that's why i said like on the way up to success things break mm -hmm. right like I, when i was just talking to kim just now she, she's at that point right now where like she's doing friday saturday and sundays she needs to get more of her time back so i'm like all right cool like this is what you need to think about. All right, cool, you're gonna get this person in this place. You're gonna get this person in this place. So like, we're not gonna know that until we get there. Right now you're in stage four, you're in build out. 
You know what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, yeah. So like first order, like there's no point in thinking about what we're gonna be at at 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 dollars a month. Cause we're, yeah, we're just not there yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So what about marketing? Do we start now? Dad? Get your venue ready. Yeah, venue ought to be open house ready. Then you need to be open house ready. That means people are, when, if they walk in here, they can book. They can book, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're not there yet. No. Yeah, okay. you'll be there in so a couple we, days. So we won't even start marketing. That's what you're saying, right? Before. You can film the process and put it on Instagram. Okay. Uh, definitely do that. Huh? Yeah, definitely film the process. Like you know what I'm saying. Like when you like you're as you're getting the venue. Like all this stuff right here, definitely marketable. Like you can put that on Instagram and stuff like that. We won't run ads to that because people are gonna be like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? But like you can definitely put that on Instagram. It's like showing the process, right? Okay. And then when ads turn on is when the venue is ready. The pricing and packages, which we already did for you in the roadmap, is ready to go. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Cool. So how do I get like right now? I have access to Slack. Yes. But I need my staff to have access to Slack so that they can book all those meetings that you have and put them on the calendar. Who's your staff? Who, yeah. who, will be in, I, I can't. who will be in charge? Who will we be contacting? Or contacting yeah, they them? need to, but I just want them to have access. Is that possible? But who's, who's they? I will have to appoint one person. Cart before the horse. You don't have the person yet. No, I do have. I have a lot of people. I just have to figure out which... Okay, when you figure out your who, uh -huh. we can add their email to the Slack. Yeah, channel. just message us in Slack. Say, hey, yeah. I want to add this person to the yeah, channel. That's, that's fine. That's, it takes two seconds. All right, so then she can then put all your meetings in my calendar for me. It automatically books for you. No, your meetings, it will just send me a message and I won't remember. I just want them, yeah, I want them to put it in my calendar. It automatically goes to your calendar. You're talking about the one-on-ones, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah. she's talking about all the meetings. All the the meetings. meetings. She wants to ask me. Oh. Have, I don't have a calendar. I don't, I've never seen my calendar. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Yeah, you can so, just add. Let, let us know who that person is. We'll add them to your Slack. They can add them to your calendar. That's okay, yeah. so I do have a calendar in Slack? No, you, they will add them to your personal calendar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Smooth. Let's close out and ask more questions after yeah. that. Yeah. You already know what it is, man. We are back in Houston, Texas. Cannot wait to see what we do with this venue, man. I can't wait to see what Miss Ann does, because you know what I'm saying? We're at first order business before we get to second order business, before we get to third order business. Mr. Whitlock, you want to close this out, boy? Listen, 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 listen. If you are in H-Town, you have to pull up at where? The Benedetto Center. Address? 2911 Sam Houston Parkway East, Houston, Texas. Listen, listen, listen. If you pull up to this event place, the ceilings are gone. You give me a call because you will be in trouble. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. There is no better way to close out than let you know. Let uh. Ain't no better way to let y'all know what it is, man. Skip Billionaire B. Let's get let's go.